Another tip I'll give you is I don't own a debit card. I've never owned one. I've never allowed my three sons to possess one. Certainly and truly the worst financial tool ever given to the American consumer. So a long time ago, I asked myself a simple question. How would I remove 99.9% .9 of my personal liability like that? Because I really don't want to worry about all these things. So I use the safest form of payment that exists on the face of the earth, and that is a credit card. Credit card. Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover card. Not debit credit, but credit card. Every day of my life, I spend their money. I don't spend my money. My money sits in a money market account. It earns interest. Actually, nobody knows where it is because it's not exposed to anybody to find it. It's just sitting there. I go to the dry cleaner. I give them my card. I pick up the groceries. I give them my card. I put fuel in my boat on the weekend. I use my card. I pay the marina to keep my boat in the water all year long. They put the rent on my credit card. I travel all over the world. While I wait to get reimbursed, I use my credit card. If I need euros, I go to the ATM machine. I use my credit card. I'm not going to use my debit card to get euros overseas or pounds in Great Britain. And every day I use my card. And then if I pay the bill in full or part of the bill, my credit score goes up. So I'm building credit while I'm using that credit card. And if tomorrow, and I'll do everything to protect my information, but if tomorrow someone gets my card number and charges $1 million on my credit card by federal law, my liability is zero. I have no liability. What's up, guys? That was Frank Abagnale. That, that clip um, that I just showed you was a guy named Frank Abagnale. He's probably one of the most respected forgerists in the history of this country. Um, you've probably seen this movie, um, Catch Me If You Can, that was played by Leonardo DiCaprio. Um, it's one of my favorite movies of all time. But nonetheless, the inside of that clip gave us great context Um, whether we should be using debit cards in this day and age. And that's what we're going to talk about today. We're going to talk about the pros. We're going to talk about the cons of debit cards in 2022 and see if you should be actually using it or if they actually outdate it. Guys, stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel, guys. If you're new to the channel, I'm Credit Coach Q, and I created the first cloud-based software that allows you to put your credit repair expense into your own hands. If you're new to the channel, guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. It allows us to reach a wider audience. It allows YouTube to push this content and allows us to get it within the algorithm and allows us to leave these lights on. Guys, please like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. In today's video, it is going to be a juicy one because I have a banger. In today's video, we're talking about debit cards. We're talking about whether the debit card industry or whether the debit card that you're using is a good thing or a bad thing. Nonetheless, we're going to talk about the pros and the cons about debit cards. Now, let's dive straight into the meat and potatoes of this video. Now, the clip that I showed you about debit cards was very interesting. Um, it was a, a clip I seen a few years ago, actually, um, and it's talked about the benefits um, of credit cards, not debit cards, and basically putting yourself in a position Position to always be leveraging so that's one of the things um, that I teach my students and the clients to always be leveraging with their credit so let's dive straight into this right okay so the first um, negative point when it comes to a debit card that I honestly feel like is the fact that fraud is really easy it's really easy to accumulate fraud on the debit card especially if you have uh, a, a large transactional history where you're making a lot and processing a lot um, the black market for card numbers in your information is out there and it is rampant guys I mean it, it, it sucks to say this but debit card fraud is here and the debit card fraud prevention or the acts once you actually become a victim of identity theft or debit card fraud um, the barriers that's put in place is not beneficial for the consumers let me explain um, so when you get a debit card and someone hacks your debit card and basically 
um, allows you to become a victim of fraud, you have to report it in a certain time frame. And the certain time frame that you have to report it under is called the Electronic Transfer Act. Now, the Electronic Transfer Act is an act that is under the debit card is under that act. The Electronic Transfer Act is under that umbrella. And the reason why I necessarily don't like it is because it does not protect the consumer. Um, if let me give you an example. So if someone hacked your bank account, and this has happened to me, this has happened to my sister, this has happened to multiple people that I know on a personal level where their debit card and their bank account just get hacked out of nowhere. Um, and if that did happen to you, you have to report it at a certain time. And if you don't, um, you could be accountable for the amount of money that was lost. Um, so that's not a good thing, but you have to be accountable for that money within the time frame of you reporting it. Now, um, if you do report it, you could uh, accumulate that money back, but the time frame of the money getting back into your account is not always instant. Um, because it's not always instant, that can put you in your bills, in your lifestyle, in a very um stress situation it can put yourself in a position where you are can you can be late to certain bills that's on schedules just because the money has been taken out your account and uh, proper insurances is not put in place to protect you from any of those changes so that is one thing that i can definitely understand why people are ditching their debit cards because it's not really insurable when it comes to putting the consumers in first place um it, like I said, if you do lose the money, you could recoup it, but it's going to take some time. And that time can be very detrimental, especially if you need your money. Everyone needs their money, guys. So let's keep going. So another reason why using your debit card can be a downturn because you kind of never want to use your own money. Um, you always want to put your money in places of leverage and using other people's money is always a better position. So debt credit is always going to be a, a, a tool that you're supposed to use for leveraging purposes so i don't really advise any of my clients to go into a credit building without learning the leverage game first because the leverage game can be a, a differential whether you are getting traveling for free on your credit card or you are putting yourself in a position where you're maxing out your credit card and not really accumulating the credit points the data points that you need to build a credit a great score or Put yourself in a position where you are overspending on that particular card so you always want to use other people money you always also want to put your money in a position to gain interest now this is not any financial advice but that is just common sense um that's what I do and that's why I teach my students to put they put to put all of your capital and your reserves in a um, constant flowing position you never want your money to really be stagnant stagnation and um, in any type of cash flow that you have or your reserves is not um, is not ideal especially in this day and age when it comes to inflation so having your money in a stagnant position and swiping it with a debit card um, instead of actually using a credit card where your money is actually um, bringing you returns ROIs and by the time the bill for the credit card come you can take the ROIs and the leverages that you are using with your own reserve with your own capital and pay the um, pay the credit card bill off where you're actually making money while you're waiting for the credit card bill basically putting the debt that you are accumulating um, in a position to ultimately be free because you are actually using credit to actually give you leverage to actually pay it off. So yeah, you always want to put yourself in a position to leverage your credit profile. Now with credit cards, credit cards is completely different. Um, the liability for credit cards is completely on the banks. It's not on you. Um, as you can see in the video, um, as he was talking, Credit cards is going to put you in a position where you can always leverage them. Now, one thing that I do love about credit cards is that credit cards can become an asset. Now, every credit card is not a asset. I'm not saying that, but I am saying that you could leverage your credit card and turn it into an asset. Like I said, some people are using their credit cards to um, start small businesses, which ultimately starts cash flows, which ultimately brings them an ROI and all off credit. Some people are traveling for free. Some people 
people are doing a lot of different side hustles with their credit and basically leveraging it at all times. Now, like I said, the liability for credit cards is completely on the banks. Now, the credit card is under the Fair Credit Billing Act. Now, the Fair Credit Billing Act is an act that basically protects most of, if not all of the money if it goes under a fraud umbrella. So if you are a victim of fraud with a credit card, the barriers and the insurances that you have for any of those um, instances is dramatically different from a debit card. Um, like I said, the money that um, is stolen or have potentially make you a victim of fraud put you in a position to get all of your money fairly quickly um, and is not putting the leverage all on you. Um, also, the debit card is majorly on you. I mean, it's all of your money. A credit card is the bank's money. So the bank is going to insure their money a lot better than you can insure your money or the banks will insure your money because if your bank if your money is in the bank then they have to insure your money and their money but you gotta understand the credit card company is using banks money to issue you lines of credit and all of that money is 100% protected and like I said the leverage is not on you now when it comes to debit cards you do not want to Put yourself in a position where you are getting into debt now you can easily do that with credit cards and that's one of the negatives that i would say if you are always using your credit cards because in order to understand the leverage game and build on the leverage game you have to put yourself in a position to um, accumulate debt and if you are not a savvy or responsible um, or experienced with accumulating debt and turning debt, uh, well, it should be accumulating good debt and turning that good debt into um, a return on your investment, then I wouldn't recommend anyone getting um, a long-term credit card. I would recommend all, uh, all personnel to um, stay with their debit cards and stay in the bracket of responsibility don't overextend yourself because accumulating a lot of debt is not a good um, idea and is not easily to get out of so you want to make sure that you are staying in your um, in your bracket of discipline when it comes to these um, these vehicles and in these tools um, but outside of that using your credit card can also give you good credit so you always want to make sure that you are putting yourself in a position to get good credit. Um, if you are using your credit card properly and paying it off properly, you are going to get data points every month. And every month that you get and accumulate data points is a potential for you to um, raise your credit score and also uh, put your credit in a position where you can leverage and get other things outside of credit cards, such as home loans, car loans, things like that. So. It's, 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 I understand the idea of credit cards, but I also understand that some people don't need credit cards or high limit credit cards to put themselves in position because they just haven't learned the necessary tools to stay disciplined for all of um, they acquired death. Guy, guys, please let me know in the comments how you feel particularly about credit cards or debit cards. If you feel like the debit card uh, game is outdated, if you feel like the credit game is in, if, if, if everyone is using a credit card, do we need debit cards? Uh, if our money is always putting, being put in a position where it's moving. Guys, let me know how you feel. Let, uh, drop a, a, a comment in the description and let me know exactly how you feel about um, your debit card in this day and age guys please like and subscribe to the channel and it allows us like i said to reach a wider audience allows youtube to push this content guys until next time take care of yourself and take care of your credit